you guys, I am still in amazement because guess what? I got retweeted by Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> I realize that sounds a little ridiculous to some people. Um, if you saw my vlog that I posted, well, it'll be t yesterday when I post this one, but earlier today, I, I had just finished posting the vlog where I talk about my great aunt and recite the I Miss the Leaves poem that I wrote for her. And this morning, I just happened to turn on the Today Show, and Kathy Lee, it was perfect timing because Hoda was introducing her to sing. Now, to make some sense of this, my great aunt, like I said in the video or the vlog before this, she was my person. And the fact that I had just uploaded the vlog talking about her and talking about wanting to go to the cemetery to visit her, and then I had turned on the Today Show and Kathy Lee was singing this. It was amazing. So I'll tell you right now, go on iTunes and buy for 99 cents. Uh, trust me, you can afford it at 99 cents. And if you can't, then maybe I'll help you out because I think it's a great song. But it's called He Saw Jesus and she wrote it for Frank. Um, and it was very moving and very personal. And I really wish and I had been here to see it with me because we've listened to her music for years, all, all the different albums she's put out. I've been tormented and laughed at by friends and family for saying, oh, I listen to Kathy Lee Gifford all the time. Thinking, what, she has a singing career? Well, yeah, she she kind of does, even though it's not her main gig right now, and she has a really good voice. And the song was beautiful. I wrote her on Twitter about it, just mentioning that I had just posted that vlog, and as soon as I knew that it was available on Allen iTunes, I had to go, and it was a no-brainer purchase and play on repeat all day song for me. I don't think that it's a coincidence that it happened right after I posted my Aunt Nenai vlog. I don't think it's a coincidence that she was singing it, that I happened to tune in right after I uploaded my vlog about my great Aunt Nenai. I'm going to take that as a sign that God's going to give me the strength to get to the cemetery today to visit my Nenai. Because I really want to. And I really, really wish you could have been here to see this. That Kathy Lee... And I know it's Twitter. And I know all it takes is a click and a click and a click and whatever. But she's liked four of my tweets and retweeted one of them. And she's actually like on my top five people. Uh, on my Twitter bucket list of people I want to have some form of interaction with. Because of their special meaning. And the special meaning of Kathy Lee started back when I was three years old. And I was watching live with Regis and Kathy Lee with my Aunt Nenai. And now I'm 28. And Nenai's not here. She's been gone for almost five years. But it was just perfect timing this morning, guys. I'm sorry I'm crying. I don't, I don't mean to cry. It's happy tears. Just know that it's happy. So hopefully I'll be able to get dressed and we'll be able to get to the cemetery today. It's not raining, so at least there's that. It is a little overcast, but that, you know, actually is kind of good because the sun can wipe me out majorly. So I just had to share. I got retweeted by Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh my gosh. And she has read at least four or five of my tweets. And that is so, such a first world thing, but it is such a small yet big to me personal victory because of the emotional attachment I have thanks to my aunt and I on that. So thanks, Kathy Lee. Thank you for sharing your heart. I know it had to be hard to write those words and to sing them on a national stage, but thank you for sharing your heart and your life and for bringing this girl smiles for the past 25 years. You may recognize my backpack there. I've got Claire Bennett hooked up and running through. I'm gonna go ahead and close that because I'm pretty sure Roger just got home. And we're gonna go to the cemetery. I didn't get to yesterday, but there is actually a lawnmower outside that, first of all, let's just take note. Both of my eyes are open. Now, I know this is a blessing but from the one medication that ever helps both eyes stay open for a short amount of time, if at all. I knew we were going to go today to the, to the cemetery. I knew it had to happen today. And then Kathy Lee confirmed that earlier. So thankfully my medication has kicked in. My natural supplements and things that give me energy like that. I've been able to take them today. I've been able to use my neuromethylation cream to rub on the insides of my arms and wrists, which helps with energy and battling fatigue as well. I'll tell you all more about the fatigue and other stuff that we've learned in a health update 
whenever I do that, which will hopefully be soon. But I want to get the Q&A done first. Maybe I'll answer that in part of the q and I'll slide that in. I read you the poem yesterday, and I'm going to go today. And that Kathy Lee just inspired me today. So I'm going to be playing her song at some point. Like, if I get a, st a strike against copyright, then I'm going to have to take this down and re-upload it with whatever part. But she did retweet me today, so I'm still happy about that. I'm happy that even if it's just a brief moment of time, maybe it'll last a little while once I'm outside. Um, my eyes are open, but what, what I had started this whole segment with is there's a lawnmower outside, which would normally have me in here with my both of my eyes closed really tightly, my headphones, my sound noise canceling headphones on, um, and screaming, literally crying and screaming in pain. You can scroll back through some of my vlogs from this summer and see that. The DNRS, the Dynamic Neural Retraining System, I actually did it last August. I went through the complete video program and then I got too sick to be able to devote one hour a day to doing all of the different training steps that I needed to do. However, I still try like on a day-to-day -day basis to use whatever techniques I can and to help me with some of my obsessions and compulsions or just to help me get through the sound is outside right now, and Roger and I, in case you haven't noticed, we like to name things after things that are hobbies or things that we're passionate about or they just things that we love or that are funny or just happen to fit, like Claire Bennett, etc. So several days ago, I told Roger that I was going to DNRS my way through something. And since we do love naming things, uh, he said, okay, I've got it. I've got what can make this part of the fun game as well. And he said, you're not just DNRSing your way through it, you're Khaleesiing through it because you're being da da Daenerys Stormborn, holder of too many titles to recite on a vlog by memory, from Game of Thrones, Daenerys uh, of the Targaryen family. And he said, so that's just what you have to think about as DNRS, you are the mother of dragons, you can handle a lawnmower. Uh, so I am Daenerysing my way through this, DNRSing, retraining my limbic system to not see that as an overstimulation. I am having to talk kind of loudly, more loudly than usual. Um, I feel like to drown it out in my own head, so maybe that's cheating a little bit, maybe it's not. But we're getting ready to go to the cemetery, and I'm just so excited to just be able to spend a few minutes with, with my person because it's been almost five years. This coming February 16th will be five years and I I miss her. So I just like to go visit her. Looks like the sun is coming through a little bit today. I'm so excited. It's been so cloudy and so overcast all day and I was afraid. I have different reports from people I've had checking the leaves at the cemetery. Like some are brown, some are still green, some are all colors but you're not really vibrant. Maybe it's because it's cloudy and the sun just came out. The forecast today said partly cloudy starting a couple hours ago and it was mainly still overcast and I'm excited because if the light is there, if the leaves are at the right time, I, now my main thing is I don't want to miss them so if I go too early that's better than going too late or not going at all. But I'm hoping that some of them there will be in their prime and with the sunlight shining on them, I'm hoping I'll be able to convey the beauty to you. So I hope they're in that stage. I don't know if it's inappropriate to be blasting uh, rap music when we're going to the cemetery. It's not like I'm happy that the cemetery exists because of what it signifies, but I'm playing NF's new album. We're playing uh, the song 100 right now because Kathy Lee this morning helped me 100 my determination to Daenerys all of this stuff to get to the cemetery. So I'm not going to miss it. So we'll just turn it up if we have to. However, some are brown. Um, there are a lot of different types of trees, so it's very inconsistent. Here we go, don't go that way. I know. Okay. Yeah, he, he's brought me here enough. He knows. I know where everybody is. He knows. 
<laughs> That's not been so awful, but it is true. You know, it's where I think I feel like it's it. Anyways, yeah, they're turning. And there's some pretty ones over there. We'll be over there a little bit later, guys. And we're driving and we're driving. Ooh, some pretty ones. See, this is the area, guys. This is where you want to be. And we are going to see. Ain't an eye. Ain't an eye, yeah. Roger loves it when I think I can accent jump in there. So I'm going to sit down and have a chat for a minute. So I'll see you guys later. nice to have glass flying. You know what? Maybe we're outside and we're in the cemetery so there's not the detergent smell from people's houses. Was, did it just smell like grass out there to you, Raj? Yes. So I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna step, okay, so stop recording for a second. I don't know why. I guess, I guess I'm calling this a tribute vlog because, you know, there may be some people that say this is not courteous, not, insert word here, not respectful, disrespectful, but I'm telling you that it's super respectful because I'm respecting the memory of my aunt, which if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that one of the best memories I have was, right, actually we need to be down at the bottom of the view there. Sorry, I keep forgetting to tell Roger stuff. He's being very nice about it. And then after this, we're gonna go home so he can eat before he has band practice tonight. I'll show you these leaves as we leave. But right now, um, I'm gonna relive my favorite childhood memory with Ninai. I've just got uh, a different set of wheels. A new set of wheels, revisiting the same favorite childhood memory. Let's go. Not disrespectful. A little moment to pray Our Sunday morning And I could tell for sure By that sweet look on his face He saw Jesus Okay, I'm at the top now. That was the hard part going uphill. Now I'm going to go finish and go downhill. This should be the easy part, guys. Maybe I'll do some footage of the old areas that be around here. I'm going right now. Guys, we talk about bodying verses, etc. I just bodied that driveway with my new set of wheels. Looks a little different. I have a husband who's a wonderful enabler. Now I want to get home so he's able to enable himself to have nutrition before going to practice. But I'm very, I don't know if you all can see it in my face how happy I am right now that everything just work to give us this moment. So here, let me show you the trees quickly before we leave and that's the last thing. thankful for a husband who took the time to indulge me and let me do those things in honor and in memory of uh, my great aunt and be able to talk to my Ninai. And I filled her in on what happened with Kathy Lee and the rest of our conversation used to stay between us, but I thought she'd want to know that. Right. I thought he was going to roast me. He hasn't heard the song yet, so he doesn't know how truly wonderful it was because he is one of them that... It, <laughs> He's one of them. He is one of those I mentioned earlier who has teased me in the ears uh, for listening to Kathy Lee's music. And I'm just going to prove him wrong with our new song because he saw Jesus. I get on iTunes, Kathy Lee Gifford. 
free PR there for you, KLG. Only hook me up with something, I don't know. I'll just hang out with you for a day, that'd be cool. <laughs> he, he's looking at me like I'm really weird. Uh, now he's pretending he's not looking, <laughs> but he was looking at me like I'm a weirdo. I don't know. Am I a weirdo? Yeah. Okay, well, Kathy Lee's good. She's a good singer. She's a good singer. Got my Ariel Little Mermaid sweatshirt on today, which I love. I put my vlog mask back on because uh, the air conditioner or the we're still in the rental car, so that was getting to me. But it was nice breathing the fresh air outside for a while and not worrying about like laundry smells from the dryer, which happened in our neighborhood. It's especially nice to be able to look when the sun is partially out with both eyes open with regular glasses instead of sunglasses for these few moments. So I'm basking in that as much as I possibly can. It is just, it's an overwhelming feeling. I don't care how much I crash. Well, actually I kind of do because I have an appointment with my doctor at 11.45 in the morning. But I don't, really don't care how, how much I crashed tonight because all of this was worth it. Guys, this is a big moment because I am denarising my way to get my strength to go back in the house. I'm walking without holding on to Roger. Yes, I'm using my cane and still making sure I don't step on cracks because, you know, then someone in my family would die. That's actually one of the yeah, one of the very superstitious things on mine. Slash shot into since I was a child. Hands full of cracks, bad things have happened every time. Mm, hasn't really helped that positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, whatever. But you can see, I'm walking into the house. Oh, so a dirty house. <laughs> Our house is a wreck. But that's okay because you know what? With chronic illness, sometimes the necessities get done. And some of the tasks <laughs> Sorry, our house is so dark compared to where we were. There a little one on there for a sec. Just documenting the fact that I'm walking into the house because it's a major... <sighs> Can't give a breath. I don't remember when the last time was you did this. I don't either. So like I said, I'm Daenerys Stormborn, holder of too many titles to put on the blog and mother of dragons and i've got that in me today and we just fulfilled our mission now time to go congress and stuff like napping that sounds good okay while well, i've still got a little bit of daylight left i wanted to just thank god for the blessing of being able to go and visit and i and talk to her and fill her in on some stuff in my life that some people may think that that stuff is silly but it is very healing for me and especially being able to see the leaves even though they weren't all as as beautiful as they will be probably in a few days I would rather be early than late as far as you know I, I don't want to miss the leaves again so I at least did get some of them and that childhood memory I hope you enjoyed that and I really did not mean any disrespect with that I was honoring one of the most cherished memories I have with my Nenai who was buried in that cemetery, whose funeral was inside that mausoleum. And that was when I rode my bike around. So I repeated that with my different wheels, AKA my wheelchair. Lucy, hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Is daddy taking you? Oh, what's going on out here? Yeah. Sit. Good. Oh, I'm just getting down on her knees. Oh, what are you doing, Luz? Where are you going? Where's you going, Dad? Lucy Goosey, you ready to go? You going? Did Dad say the word? Oh, Lordy, Luz jumped right over Mama's backpack. Where's she going, Dad? She's going to band practice. Going to band practice, that means... Oh, she just wants to hear the word. She wants to hear the word. The car? Oh, her favorite. Hey, Lucy, do you want to go in the car? <gasps> Is that where Dad's taking you in the car? You like the car, don't you? Biting your lip, you beagle. I don't like this one. I like our real car better. Yeah. He's ready, Dad. 
Oh, take me the car, Dad. She's so ready. Look at those little front feet. I love it. They're so cute. Oh, she's so excited. I wish I knew where the leash was. Up in the vet. We have the case of a missing dog leash, people. This is not good. I'm trying to stand again and use things to hold on to help Roger look for this. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, where was it? Hey, it says, it's on the scene, he said, right where it should be. Yes. All right, Lucy, go see yeah. She's just so excited. She can hardly help herself. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Enjoy praying practice. I really am going to rest up. I've hit my wall right now, so that was actually perfect timing. So I'm going to get back down so I can crawl back to the bedroom because my energy's gone. On the plus side, my right eye is still open. That's a pretty... If you see me looking like at myself and not in the viewfinder, it's because I get amazed that my right eye is open and it's just not something that even I see very often or often at all. Make sure these lights are turned off as I go through. I don't have the energy to get up and turn the bathroom one off. Oh, that helps. And honestly, my backpack's helping a little too. It's helping me use the use the pump as something to. Oh my god, I was starting to go there, but I'm not gonna let it. At least not until I get back in bed. And that's the truth. Okay, got my backpack here with my. Rocket Fuel, shout out Kate Farms for helping me gain some needed weight and getting needed nutrition that I'm not able to get on my own. And I've still got my sweatshirt on because I didn't have the energy to change back into my pajamas yet. I'm going to have to put this down in just a sec, but I wanted to say I'm going to rest and again just give God all the praise for the energy spurt that he just gave me. I lied. I had to get my pajamas back on. One, because that shirt still smells like the rental car, and two, because I just needed my pajamas back on. But I'll edit this footage, and by the time you're watching this, this will have been your yesterday, because it will be today's tomorrow. So how's that? So whether it's yesterday, today, or tomorrow when you're watching this, your yesterday, which would be tomorrow from me today, and anyway, you, you get the gist. I just wanted to check in and sign off. Say that I hope you all are just remembering that this is the day the Lord has made and all you have to do is choose to rejoice and be glad in it and you can be. You can be. I'm living proof of that. I hope today that showed through because honestly it was a miracle. Being able to do all of that was a miracle. There's no other word for it and that only comes from the guy upstairs. The big guy, the G-man. Y'all also lives right in here. So, to all of you, God bless you, and I hope you'll have a good night. Or, ah, ah, dang it. I even brought my tripod. You should post some bloopers sometime. I will. Like, just all bloopers are yeah. in the videos. Just book a real. I will. Okay, I've got plenty. Or at Down. the end of the video. Maybe we'll make this at the end of the video, because I can do that. Jump cut, you know, party and all that whatnot. Woo-hoo.